Here's a look at the four things you need to know for today. Number one, Minneapolis police are investigating two deadly shootings. Police say a woman died after showing up to a hospital with a gunshot wound. Investigators think she was hit near 22nd Avenue and 2nd Street in North Minneapolis. Police are still trying to find a suspect. Another man was shot in South Minneapolis. Police say he was an innocent bystander caught in crossfire when two people who were arguing started shooting at each other. The suspected shooters got away. Number two, Minneapolis police say several people were arrested for rioting in Uptown. This comes after demonstrators took to the streets to protest the death of 32-year-old Winston Smith in an officer-involved shooting. Protesters used, dump, used dumpsters and cars to block off streets in Uptown. Minneapolis police say some protesters did riot again in the area and that officers arrested several people. Number three, there is a new COVID-19 vaccination site at the Minneapolis St. Paul International Airport. It opened today in Terminal 1. It offers travelers the single dose Johnson & Johnson vaccine. People can walk up or make an appointment. This new pop-up clinic is part of Minnesota's effort to get 70% of the state's population of people 16 and older vaccinated by July 4th. Right now, we're around 65%. And number four, Surly Brewing's Beer Hall in Minneapolis reopens today. They will start with 20 tap lines and their food truck. Last year, the brewery said its tap room would close indefinitely, just days after Surly employees announced their intent to unionize. Surly said the closing was pandemic related and already planned. A unionization vote in October failed. The beer hall is open from 11 to 9 today.